Hi foodies and welcome back to another episode with me and Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen. Now in today's episode, I'm going to first start by apologizing for not uploading any videos probably within the last six months or so because I've been extremely busy. Now today it's Carnival Sunday in Trinidad and uh, we are having a lot of activities. So if you're hearing music passing in the background, it's beyond my control. And, um, Tomorrow is Carnival Monday followed by Carnival Tuesday where we'd have a lot of adult masks being displayed in the streets a lot of carnival activities so here's the place to be right now if you really want to have a good time in today's episode I'll be sharing with you how I make cassava cone cassava cone is actually one of my husband's favorite snacks um, it's made with cassava, coconut, sugar. These are the basic or foundation ingredients. You could add sweet potatoes if you like. You could add black pepper or even raisins. However, you choose whatever you choose to do with your cone, you could add it. Okay, so without further ado, I'm not gonna take you or keep you much longer. We are gonna go straight into making our cassava cone. Okay, so we're going to begin by preparing our coconut. Okay, so this we're going to be using our coconut and cassava. Okay, I'm going to peel my cassava and get that grated. So for our cassava, we'll be grating it on this side of the grater. We'll be grating the coconut on that side as well and our pumpkin on that side as well. Before we begin, make sure you have your baking dish present. You could use a Pyrex dish or you could use baking pans. Here I have my grated cassava, my coconut, pumpkin, sugar, raisins, melted butter, some ginger, some nutmeg, cinnamon, salt, baking powder, evaporated milk, and vanilla essence so I'm going to combine all of these together before we start you want to put your oven to heat on 350 degrees so I'm going to start by adding all my ingredients starting with my cassava my pumpkin Coconut. I'm going to mix this together. To this, I'm adding my sugar, my raisins, my spices, salt. Ginger, my butter, and you're going to mix this in. Okay. Could have used melted butter, I'm um, sorry, melted butter in this case, I just use it soft. You just want to give this a good mix again if you like you could omit the raisins and you know you could make a little minor adjustments but remember the foundation is the cassava your sugar your coconut okay so now I'm going to add some vanilla essence And last but not least, I'm adding my milk to this. We're going to prepare to pour this into our dish. Just smooth it up. I'm 
and place in the oven. You can leave this between an hour and an hour and 15 minutes. It's up to you. But I left mine so one hour and 15 minutes because I like a nice brown top. And we're gonna check it now with a toothpick. Once it goes in and comes out dry, you know your pawn is ready. Okay, so this is the end here for my tips and tricks. If it is you would like to have on top of your pawn a bit sticky, you know, just mix some sugar and water, slight, and just pass to the top of your pawn before putting it back in the oven for about two to three minutes. And that will give it the nice stickiness to the top of your bone. Another tip I'd give is to make sure that you have sufficient liquids in your bone. Okay, you don't want to put that in your oven and it's dry because you want to have a very dry bone. The top will crack to the top and you would see the pieces of cassava floating to the top. Okay, that would be dry. Another tip is to make sure that your pawn is cooked. Leave it in the oven until the skewer or your toothpick comes out um, dry. It won't be completely dry because pawn is sticky, but it would not be wet. It would be just a tip sticky, but not too sticky. So those are tips that I have in getting a lovely pawn. So this is our nice hot sticky cassava bone.